Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benny Dumbai Anna. We are in Altea today, and as you can see, it completely disappeared with this interesting fog coming from the Mediterranean Sea. You cannot even see the old town, and even a couple of meters from us, it's all white. Let's go and explore Altea covered in fog. I must say that the fog came really, really fast in just a couple of minutes all the beach was covered like this this fog is going even further away towards the old town the one that you cannot even see right now from here let's head towards the brand new promenade to see how it's looking like from there it's Sunday today, Sunday. Obviously, it's the same day that you will be seeing today's video. Uh, so we're filming it almost as a live video today. There are quite some people at the beach enjoying this interesting phenomenon here. It's not as usual, to be honest, to have it. Sometimes, a couple of times a year, this fog does come to our area from the sea. Look at this but it's not something common that's usually happening like every couple of weeks. No, not at all. This is due to the difference of the temperatures inside of the sea and the outside temperatures that we have here. And once the difference is so, so big, the fog itself, the humidity forms in the Mediterranean Sea and comes quickly to the coast right now probably in half an hour it will all be gone but still it's interesting to see this phenomenon here in Altea there are actually a lot of groups out here today obviously on Sunday Sundays are busy it's weekend so not only tourists but also locals go out and enjoy their sunny day today it's quite chilly it was supposed to be around 30 degrees in our region but somehow we managed only to get to 20 at least so far first thing in the morning later on we'll see maybe we'll reach at least 24 to 26 which will be ideal for us some people already sitting down the local tapas bars enjoying some drinks Many of the businesses here in Altea are closed on Sunday. Even though you would think that it's a touristic area, still, uh, Altea is closing a lot of places. Traditionally, Sunday was the day off for a lot of people, which is why many businesses are also closed on this day. Even though they could be open, yes, obviously for tourists, but this is the day when families gather together, so they're closed. As you can see, oh, you cannot even see Calpe from here. You cannot see anything at all. Wow. Usually up there, it's where the Calpe Peñon can be seen, but it's not. You cannot even see the best hotels of Altea <laughs> that are on that side. Nothing, nothing at all. tourist information of Altea. This is where it's actually located. Oh, you can see that the, the old town is also covering slowly but surely with this fog. The tourist information office is right here. This is where you can actually get all the information about everything that's happening right now locally here in Altea. Any kind of um, interesting information about places to visit, maybe some art galleries, or nice places, recommended restaurants for traditional, typical Spanish food as well. You know, something special to do during your holidays as well as um, indications about local markets and how to get to the old town, towards the church and just discover the old part of Altea. So this is where you can actually go. Or you can also watch our videos because this is where we show you all this information. Oh, it's cold. It's really, really cold. It's a very strange feeling. You can see even behind me all the fog. 
it's very strange feeling it's like if we're in a humid cloud which we actually are technically it is a humid cloud uh, where we are right now but it's so so strange it's so cold you can even feel uh, the water particles inside so usually it's very nice and warm but right now it's great to cover yourselves up because it's really really chilly this is the brand new promenade they're closing it for traffic so i suppose there's going to be some kind of event probably happening here and the loveliest promenade oh wow there's literally so so we are in a cloud right now and people came down here to watch it i mean obviously it's it's a nice thing to watch they've planted even more trees out here even more plants which is really much appreciated all this area has converted itself into really amazing quality place to walk and discover wow there's a lot of people a lot of bars a lot of restaurants a lot of cafeterias in this particular part which is where the new promenade is located a lot of them are opening up right now even though the weather is not accompanying so much today but all the bars are slowly but surely opening up and preparing for service the price for menus in this area this particular part right now is around 18 or 19 euros like for example the restaurant right there in front menu of the day is 1890 which is basically um a almost 19 euros for a menu uh, and it's obviously an entree a main course a dessert maybe some kind of bread etc uh, but it's still quite expensive taking into consideration the prices that we have in Benidorm where you can get um, normal price might be like 10 11 12 13 14 euros 19 euros it's slightly big already brand new restaurant right here Charles food and drinks carpaccio bruschetta chicken roast chicken 14.95 spare ribs 20 euros Ooh. steak 23.50 that's slightly expensive i mean if it's a great quality food then maybe that's like a typical price but i would dare to say it's slightly expensive in this case look at how many people there are here A lot of people are coming to the children's parks as well. This is where they enjoy it. There's some music. I wonder if it's someone put this music or if it's like... Oh, there is a band right there. So there's going to be some kind of event. Here we have to take out the sound because there's uh, the music right there. So obviously due to copyright, it's quite difficult. But basically you can see that there is a band right there which will be performing probably shortly. This is due to the fact that today there is a solidary, how they call it here, Marcha Solidaria, which is a walking basically uh, from Albir, I think they're doing it even, uh, for women uh, for um, against better to say against breast cancer uh, this is one of the associations anemone i think it's called and they are organizing all this and they are staying at the cap negret hotel which is why the cap negret hotel has everything prepared all the bands and everything is organized by them it's also being um it's like a collaboration with Kaisha Altea. So obviously you have their signs here too. And at the end, they're just waiting the people to arrive, receive maybe some kind of certificate of participation or something like this. But this is going to be the end part of it. This is where they will be coming. So that's why there were so many people working these Anemona t-shirts. You can see they're wearing them too. Because today is the day when they are doing this solitary walk um for all the women who have been suffering suffering with this um very very difficult psychologically and physically illness and after all this walk they will have a concert right here to enjoy this day and to enjoy the life as it is great event what do you think and here at the end 
We have a brand new thing that I'm quite sure you did not see just yet. This is a brand new sign that they brought of Altea here. This is a brand new famous sculpture that is here right now and will be staying here forever. Look at this. Made with seashells, with everything that Altea symbolizes together with this lovely ship. That's a brand new tradition of Altea. Everyone who are coming here just must take a picture right here near this loveliest monument. The authentic new tradition has just started right now with it. incredible place to be definitely beloved by a lot of tourists right now and even with these cold water clouds a lot of people came here and Altea truly became alive with this gorgeous promenade that they did recently this is how Altea is looking like today covered with a huge huge cloud of fog of a water cloud but still it's not limiting people to enjoy it and explore every single part of it they can thank you all for accompanying us on today's video i wish you a lovely sunday and we'll see each other here on the channel with a new video from the latest news update from spain Benidorm town and Costa Blanca and here you can see all the rest of the participants arriving towards the end point where some concert and fun is waiting for them. Bye dears!